Scorpio, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for February 2018. So before we jump in, I want to give a big thank you to my friends over at Hair Entourage for hooking me up with a cute little piece to wear for you guys while I am transitioning my natural hair and growing it out. A little bit of fun. So if you want to know more about this piece, more about Hair Entourage and the beautiful stuff they've got to offer, I put all the details in the description box down below. So make sure you go over and check them out, okay? All right, Leo. So really interesting month because last month, on the 31st, not only did we have a lunar eclipse that was in your sign, so I would imagine you're still shook, okay, over everything that happened there because the full moon lunar eclipse, a total blotting out because it was a total, I'm sure, left you feeling like you are getting a reset. It probably brought your attention to the way you actually feel about some situations, circumstances, and so on in your life, leaving you in a position to actually take some action to do something about the new information you've gotten. Some of the new information that may have come to you, I genuinely believe, just had to do with you. How do you feel about where you are in life? How do you feel about this relationship? How do you feel about where you want to go? And coming a little bit more in contact with that information, that's where you really have the power of action. Now, for some of you, it certainly was about very specific matters like this relationship. And I think in February, while we don't have a full moon in February, which is just pretty rare, right? It means we have no big culminating endings happening this month. But I think that you can start to very gently see if something is going to be moving or falling apart, or if you're going to be moving away from something based on the fact that you're like, you know what, I've had a chance to sit with this information and I'm really not that interested in this. I really don't want to go this way. It's almost like you realized what you couldn't realize about how you felt before and you really get it now, okay? What I will tell you is be prepared. It's time to go on a new adventure. And while the planets are here to support you, don't let your heightened emotions or the, oh my gosh, what's going on of this get to you. Things will come, I promise. Now, really, we've got another eclipse coming this month. This is going to be in the sign of Aquarius, so just in your opposite. So we know relationships are definitely getting some love this month. But we've really also got a lot of Venus and Neptunian energy floating around in February. And how how beautiful it's valentine's day this is the month of love so i love that we have all of this energy now for you some of these personal shifts and some shifts that you will be taking will have to do with your finances okay now we're gonna have venus moving into pisces on the 10th of february this is actually very good because it moves into your eighth house so i think this is very fortunate towards the benefit of your finances and you'll have it here all the way until march 6th so this is a a fairly nice amount of time to work with this energy. What I can say is that not only your finances, but shared resources. So this is a great energy for intimacy. This is a great energy for the intimacy of studying something in the metaphysics, if that's something you'd like to do. It's also a phenomenal energy for counseling as well, because you may be able to access pieces and places within yourself that you just couldn't before. So the other thing I'm thinking of though, Venus is about that money, right? Like she likes money. She is a money planner and she's sitting in a money house. So you could find that you get a lump sum of money. Now this could come in any form or fashion. Maybe you did your taxes and you didn't owe. Yay, okay. Maybe you're getting some money there. This could be an inheritance. You could have somebody from the past be like, yeah, you overpaid me, you know, $7,500. Here we go. If you did that, let me know. Um, <laughs> you know, whatever it is, you could certainly see some money coming back to you. On the other side of that, this could be a partner or someone outside of you who gets money that ultimately benefits you, but you didn't necessarily earn the money. Okay. So look for these things to definitely um, be happening for you, bringing a change to your finances this month. Now, I will tell you with absolute caution, depending on your personal chart, of course, but really by the time we get to the 17th of the month, whatever you're doing with your money, you want to be very cautious. I would not advise you to take any big risks, to sign any big contracts, to do any of those things, because on the 17th, we're going to have not only Mars in a square to Neptune, so the action you want to take is blocked, right? Mars in a square to Neptune is like trying to to run in water. You're trying to sprint 
in water. So you're just going to get hot and sweat and burn some calories, which is beautiful, but it doesn't actually make it productive to what you're trying to get done unless you're trying to lose calories, of course. But we've also got Mercury moving into Pisces. Mercury in Pisces means that Mercury is in fall. He's very uncomfortable here. If you haven't watched my video about planets in fall, make sure you check it out in the playlist. He's very uncomfortable here. Mercury wants to communicate clear, sharp, direct, to the point, get all the details and move on right in Pisces he can't because the information is too blurry he can't really see everything he can't really connect to everything so he can't properly just make these quick accurate savvy decisions so I would tell you after the 17th this Pisces energy is really lit up which is beautiful for compassion creativity going with the flow bringing some harmony but it is simply not strong for decision making and risk taking the other thing is is by the time we get to the 25th of the month we see Mercury and in alignment with Neptune so again bringing in that Neptunian influence not just the Pisces energy, but now it's Pisces and Neptune, which is all Neptune energy, then we'll also see on the 28th, Mercury in a square to Mars. This is frustrating conversation. This is frustrating action to the point where you can actually find yourself being so frustrated that you lose your temper. So you just wanna pay attention to not trying to push or take really big risks, but definitely enjoy the month. Now, backing up for just a second, when we get to the 15th, we do have the solar eclipse happening in the seventh house in the relationship zone. So I do feel like for some of you, if you are already partnered up, this might be a time when you guys do something unexpected or exciting together because this solar eclipse is also going to make a nice connection to Uranus. Okay, so this is different. It's unconditional. It's untraditional. It's breaking down the structures. I want to do something spontaneous. I want to surprise. So there could be something really surprising coming. You do something together and it looks to be pretty good. So I wouldn't worry too much about it, but there could certainly be some surprise energy. Either way, and if you're single, Either way, I just think that because Uranus is such an electric, stimulating kind of energy, that relationships become very stimulating for you, which could be great if you're trying to bring in some kind of new business proposition, new investment, um, anything like that. You'll really have a lot of support to make these big new changes. And I do want to say, I think for some of you with all of the Venus energy going around, this could be a time with relationships where some of you actually become a little bit more committed in some way, shape, or form. Yes, we decide we're going to partner up for this business. Yes, we decide we're going to partner up, live together, be engaged, get married, whatever that is. So Venus bringing a lot of harmony, a lot of union to the table this month as well. And that solar eclipse is saying, here's a fresh start. Here's a new beginning. So I hope you take on some really beautiful things this month. I look forward to seeing what you're doing. Please keep me posted. I love hearing from you in the comments. Um, down below. Get all of the details about $3 Thursdays coming up for February in the description box. Astro 101 in the description box. At $3 Thursday, we're actually going to be talking about transits as they relate to the natal chart. So if you get your natal chart, but you don't understand what I'm saying when I say Mercury's in Pisces in the eighth house, this is your ish. You will want to be signed up and be there. All right, guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you next month. Bye.